My name is Brad Smith. I've been here with BBA for the last five years. I'm from Boise, Idaho. I was born here. Once I graduated from Eagle High School, went up to the University of Idaho and studied architecture where I got my master's degree. And that's where I met my wife, Brooke. We moved down here to Boise and then had two beautiful daughters, Vivian and Juliet, and we've lived in the Treasure Valley since. When I was younger, we started looking at different homes and blueprints. And I remember getting the little flyers and being able to see those and the different options. And so started sketching on some of those and drawing some of the different plans and ideas. And then uh, from there just said maybe that could be a career path. And that's really when I started to look in architecture. It's a really a hobby or a passion for me. I love the technology side. I love the artistic side, the people side. I get to do a little bit of everything. As a profession, it's one of the greatest professions you could have. So from a typical project workflow, we'll meet with a client and try to get their programmatic needs. And at that point, we start to model and design the building. We may start where we're drafting and sketching stuff out as ideas and then moving to a computer model, starting to do 3D walkthroughs and virtual uh, images for them and really get into the specifics. So technology has changed a lot over the last 15 or 20 years in the field for sure. Going from digital print where you'd print it out and everybody was a still moment in time, whereas now everything is live and a lot of it's a database or 3D, so you can really show changes real time to clients. For my computer that I was using, it was lagging quite a bit. The software was too robust in both storage and, and memory. And so I would spend a lot of time, I call it the hamster wheel, where it would just spin and spin. And, and so recently we were presenting to a client and we had the 3D model up and the computer just started glitching. Just trying to get the model open. So this is usually when I go to get a cup of coffee or let it sit here and spin while I'm bored out of my mind. I'm probably just gonna need to restart it completely. <laughs> And after about 30 seconds of that, the client basically said, yeah, I just can't watch this anymore. So it was pretty embarrassing. And so at that moment, I realized, okay, we've got to do something about this to be able to upgrade. Speaking of the old machine here, uh, it didn't render and couldn't get the upgrade. It wasn't upgradable. Uh, in addition, the S key here was uh, missing. And at that point, we found pretty quickly that we're just going to have to get a new computer. So the reason why I uh, chose to use Crucial Projects in the build was the reliability that they've had for the last 20 years, obviously being headquartered in Micron in Boise. And if we don't have a product that's reliable and we don't have a backbone, a foundation that can do that, essentially we can't work that day, which is huge lost time. So the boot drive that I chose was the uh, Crucial T705. It's the Gen 5 SSD. And one of the reasons why I chose that is it's the fastest product they have. And for the memory, I chose the Crucial DDR5 Pro and is 128 gigs. What that does is it allows me to multitask at any time I have multiple software open. So for the other SSD, obviously storage is a big part of it. And having the Crucial T500 is great. It gives us up to six additional terabytes, which in the architectural world, we need that for the additional storage. My new system is working great. It's going to give us more opportunities for clients and client deliverables and being able to show them what could be. It really comes to life for them and it's going to be amazing. I'm Brad Smith and I'm an architect.